Central Kentucky Apartment Association is conducting a shoe drive fundraiser in October to raise funds for Redeeming Hope. Those dollars will benefit Redeeming Hope's mission to tell us more, of course, is Lisa Foster and Lisa Bowman. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here today. We really Thank appreciate it. And first of all, let's talk about the organization Redeeming Hope. Tell us, yes. uh, tell us exactly what it is that you do. Okay, so Redeeming Hope is a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. uh, we are building a home for girls ages uh, 14 to 18 that's been human trafficked or sexually exploited. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've actually been given five acres in Berea, so we're now fundraising and trying to get the uh, the money and the building supplies and all that to get the house built. Gotcha. So in the home, we have we have a really good group of women on our team, a lot of social workers. They know the inside of the house and uh, they know of a lot of the different therapies the girls need. Yes. So we'll have equine therapy and I'd love for you to have a, a talk one day and talk to them so they can tell you what all these girls oh, actually absolutely. need in the house. Yes, so, absolutely. So uh, we're just trying to help these young victims to have a home. You know, it's not a, a prison type, it's not a facility, it's a home it's style. It's a home. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And you know, Lisa, why did you feel it was so important to help partner with them to help raise money for their cause. Well, Lisa came and spoke to our outreach committee uh, with the Apartment Association, and the statistics that she shared with us were staggering. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is something that is not talked about, mm -hmm. and it's not, you know, we talk about drugs and, you know, the interstates that come through here bring a lot of drug cartels and all these things, but nobody mentions the human trafficking. Mm -hmm. And the statistics that she shared, it, I mean, it broke our hearts and we, we couldn't wait to get on board. Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to be doing a shoe fundraiser. Okay, let's talk about that. What are you looking for? What items? New shoes or are they, can they be used? What's the situation with that? We will take new and gently used. Okay. And um, they, we need them in pairs. Okay. They can't be wet or torn apart or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They can be any style, any size, kids, adults, high heels, boots, anything. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take it and then we get paid based on the weight and another company takes those, repurposes and then sends those off for other people to use. Fantastic, and all the money raised goes to goes Redeeming Goes directly Hope. to Redeeming Hope. So how do people participate that are interested? Um, tell us about the event itself and what do they need to do? We have um, drop-off points set up all around Lexington. Okay. We have um, a list that will be posted. Mm -hmm. um, apartment communities, our Central Kentucky Apartment Association office, Junk Magicians um, of Lexington is housing all of the, of the shoes for us. Yes. And they are going around to apartment communities and to neighborhood drop-offs to pick those up. Nice. So any they can reach out to me, the association, it, any of us, and we'll, we'll come get your shoes. It really does take a small army to make all of this happen. It really does. It does. And you know, Lisa, what inspired you? Because we were talking before we um, are doing this segment, and you had mentioned you're a realtor. And so, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that you had a background in this no. um, environment in any way, no. shape, or form. What inspired you to do this? Okay, so if I'm being honest, mm -hmm. uh, my beautiful 32-year-old daughter, Jordan mm -hmm. Morgan, was murdered a little over a year and a half ago. Oh, so and um, so in my prayer closet, I told God if he's going to make me live, that he's going to have to give me something to do for him until he'll allow me to come to heaven. <laughs> so as God would be, yes. uh, shortly after that I got a message from someone that asked me if I would pray about doing this uh -huh. and I really knew nothing about it. I'd always hear about human trafficking and I'd think, well, why don't somebody do something? Right. But we are the somebody. Yes. So I uh, didn't have to pray about it. I knew that's what I was to do. So it's just snowballed from then. But then I remembered it came full circle. My daughter, uh, when she was an attorney in Northern Kentucky, she had been on the human trafficking task force. Uh, so I knew then that, okay, so I've actually dedicated my life to this, making people aware, building a home for these girls. Yes. And, um, you know, there's there's so many out there. Kentucky ranked number nine in the nation in mm -hmm. 2019 for human trafficking. Number nine. Number nine. That was with the federal cases reported. So I've talked to the attorney general's office to get new updates. They yes. said since COVID, they haven't done new reports. But uh, we go to human trafficking task force um, meetings, and the chairperson there said that Ohio's number five, and he mm -hmm. said, 
I can guarantee you we're right there with Ohio. Wow. So Kentucky is really bad, and so Kentuckians sad. don't know how bad that it is. It really so is. Uh, the awareness is so important. It really is. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing with the house, the building of this yes. home uh, down yes. in Berea is yes. so wonderful yes. for all of those girls that are yes. affected by yes. this. So, And real quickly, where do people need to go to find out more information about what it is that you do and about the fundraiser? Okay, so if you would go to uh, redeeminghopeky.org, okay. that is our website. It'll have my number on there. It'll have uh, what we're doing with the house, mm -hmm. what we need for the house, and lots of good information. Good. Or you can just reach out to me at the 859-582-1010. I'm a realtor, so my number's already plastered out there, <laughs> so I don't care who has it now. Okay. But uh, So that tells you everything that we're doing and what we need, mm -hmm. and uh, and we can come and speak to any organization that will allow us to come and speak to mm -hmm. them to tell them how bad we need them yes. in Kentucky to yes. step up and be it aware and what to look for. Well, we need to get the word out. We really we do. We need the word out. Well, Lisa and Lisa, thank <laughs> you so much for